Greetings, I'm here. Went for a run yesterday, the first run in ages, and I ran past my old friend Mr. Birch, whom I sorely missed and rejoiced seeing again. And I felt today that Mr. Birch called me here to set up my equipment and to make myself available for communication. It feels like I'm sitting in a dark void because the light is strong and the darkness around is black so I cannot see shit but I guess that's fine because let's face it shit isn't that much to look at I could have an audience of 10,000 people around me right now and I wouldn't know because all I see is this circle with a radius of 2 meters right about and actually not a circle I only see like 180 degrees tops and who knows how good the peripheral vision is peripheral vision challenging words to say for a non-native English speaker but practice makes the master I read somewhere that the difference between a master and a beginner is that the master has made more mistakes I might be approaching masterhood with the amount I've got behind me. Probably more to come ahead of me. But hey, that's life, right? What else is there to do but to ease on down the road? The yellow brick road. Ease on down, ease on down the road. Just ease on down, ease on down the road. Don't you carry nothing that might be a load. Come on, ease on down, ease on down the road. Encounter friends such as the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, the Lion, and perhaps meet with some sort of wizard. There are for sure fake wizards in this world. But outside of this world, and also within this world, is a real wizard. The prospect of there being someone listening to me right now distracts me. I guess there's some sort of shame. Who do I think I am? Videoing myself with a light and everything right in the middle of the forest. Maybe I'm dangerous even, some sort of violent nutcase. Anything different in this world is potentially dangerous. Must be suspiciously eyed. A lot of these voices are just in my head. I'm absolutely certain of it. Though I tend to forget that. So there's Jantelagen, which is a Swedish expression for the law that you should not stick out don't think you are something. Lay low. That's not humility, though, even though that's how it's portrayed. A good friend of mine described humility as knowing your boundaries and filling them up. Overconfidence or arrogance is not knowing your boundaries, but thinking they are actually larger and trying to fill up a larger space than what's actually yours to fill. Underconfidence, timidness, is not knowing your borders, thinking they're much smaller than they actually are and trying to cramp yourself inside of them. Humility is knowing the exact extent of your borders and filling them up, taking your space, claiming your space. I'm fed up with being timid and then with pressure bouncing over to arrogance. I want to be humble. I want to stay on the road. Not that ditch, not that ditch. On the road. The yellow brick road leading forward. So humility for me right now means sitting here in this beautiful forest with my friend Brother Birch, with my light, the lantern, and E.T., the camera, knowing my space, because this is my space right now, and filling it up with my voice and my body, and my energy, and my aura, and my vibrations.
Club.